What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am making a follow up video to a video I made not too long ago called my WWE Top 10 Custom Side Plates. Now I'm doing this video again, but it's not for the main men's WWE Championships. I'm going to be ranking my top 10 favourite women's side plates. So without further ado, let's get right into number 10. So coming in at number 10 on my list is the Alexa Bliss side plates. Now unlike the men's, there is no women's side plates that I particularly dislike. I like them all. However, some of the colour schemes I'm not too fond of. For example, the pink right here. The Raw Women's Championship is blue, the SmackDown Women's is red. There's no sign of pink anywhere else on the championships. I know that they like to say that the, the, like you know women are stereotyped with pink and Alexa Bliss wears a lot of pink, but at the same time, the side plates don't really work as pink. I would have rather them either go with red, blue, or just straight up gold for the writing. But yeah, Alexa Bliss side plates. I've got nothing too against them. It's just I don't really think that pink works. But hey, that's just me. On to the next ones. Coming in at number nine on my list is the Sasha Banks side plates. Now, I am not a big fan of black side plates on the women's championships because there isn't any black. The straps are white, so it works for the men because the strap on the title was black. But the, on the women's belts, there's no black, so I'm not a fan of black. Which is why I hate the big, bold center text of Boss being flat black. If this was in gold with a black outline the same way the legit is would be much higher on my list however the other thing i'm not a fan of is the red um the wwe championship and the universal championship both have red on them so red side plates look perfect however when the smackdown women's championship has red side plates it doesn't look great but well, on the Raw Women's Championship, it does look great. These are a bit brighter than the actual Raw Women's Championship, which is also something else to look at. Um, and it does, you know, mess with your eyes a little when the side plates are bright, bright red and the main plates are a bit of a darker red. But, yeah, I've got nothing other than that against these side plates. You know, they do. They suit Sasha Banks' character nicely. So, Sasha Banks side plates, number nine. <laughs> Coming in at number 8 on my list is the Bailey side plates. Now, I am one of them guys that if you have a belt, it has to be literally symmetrical. Otherwise, I won't be a big fan of it. That's the reason I don't like these side plates. You see the Bailey writing on the top right. I think on the opposite side plate, it should have been on the top left. Because then you can put them on the uh, actual championship and it will look perfectly symmetrical other than the main Bailey logo. Instead, they're both on the right and it doesn't look good in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, that's literally the only reason it's number 8 on my list. Everything else is fine. The Bailey logo looks good, um, although there is black on it. Because it is the hair, it does look okay. When it's like black writing, it's a bit like, eh. But yeah. That's my only pet peeve on this one, the writing. On to number seven. Number seven on my list is the Asuka side plates, and I really am unsure whether I like these or hate these. It's one of them, I don't know, it's like Marmite, like, you know, I don't know whether I like these or not. I don't know why. Uh, I think the black is effective, but it's also contrasts very well with the gold, but at the same time, I don't like black backings for side plates on women's belts. It don't look right. But uh, I don't know. Ask a side plates are number seven. I really don't have a lot to say about them. Coming in at number six on my list is actually some side plates that never made it to TV. These are the Nikki Bella Fearless side plates and they are awesome. I'm a big fan of the red background, big fan of the Fearless logo and I love the white stripe in the background. This would fit perfectly on the Raw Women's Championship. However, the Bellas are rumoured to be retired now and even if Nikki was to come back, Today's current roster for the women is not really a place where Nikki Bella should be the main champion and the face of. Um, however, Nikki is, once again, I'm not bashing her at all. She's fantastic. She's improved so much. But at the same time, these side plates, I don't believe will ever see the light of day on TV. And I'm okay with that. They should have made her raw, uh, they should have made her the women's champion in 2016 when, you know, she was like, you know, feuding with Maurice or whatever it was that was when they should have done it but they didn't so you know missed opportunity but the Nikki Bella side plates are my number six 
So coming in at my number five, smack bang in the middle of this list, is the Nia Jax side plates. I'm a big fan of these. Obviously, I know it's a bit hypocritical because I said I hate the black in the background of the side plates for the women's belts. However, I really think it works quite well with this one. The Nia Jax text uh, and uh, like the name on the actual plate is in fact her logo, if you know what I mean. So if you look at her old Titan Trons and stuff, that's what it's on, like that logo. So I'm a big fan of the fact they've literally just put that logo on. It's very basic, but at the same time, so is Nia's character. It's not all flashy. It's literally Nia is one of them um, wrestlers that just goes out there, beats up her opponent and leaves. So a bland side plate that's generic and just says her name is perfect for her character. You don't need these, you know, big logos and like diamonds and you know different colored backgrounds and stuff all on it this is just perfect for naya and that's why i'm a big fan of these and that's why they are my number five coming in at number four is another side plate that does the black background quite well uh this and my number three both i feel actually like the black background works very well with them it's the ronda rousey side plates we were getting used to seeing these every single week since SummerSlam up until wrestlemania because obviously ronda was the champion and no one could beat her but they're very simplistic they just say ronda rowdy rousey on them and it works obviously the rowdy logo like rowdy roddy piper rowdy ronda rousey they use the same logo and then just her name, but her name being in like the line of gold, I think works very effectively and very nicely. It works very well with the Raw Women's Championship. I haven't actually seen any photos of anyone photoshopping it onto the SmackDown Women's Championship. However, we know that they are a great side play and that's why they're my number four. Coming in at my number three is probably a surprise to some of you guys. They are the Carmella side plates. Now, I love these. I think they're great. Uh, like Once again, the black works very well on them, like I said before. But I love how they got the leopard print and the gold and the C logo. And I also love the trainers they've got on the right side plate. It's amazing. Championships with two side plates I don't normally agree with. Obviously, I like the belts being symmetrical, but some can pull it off. Like a you know the Finn Balor ones, the Kevin Owens ones, the Carmella ones, they can pull off the two side plates, and that's why I like them. I think they're great. Carmella's reign with the SmackDown Women's Championship was you know eh, maybe a little bit forgettable, but obviously she was the first woman to ever cash in Money in the Bank, and that's historic. So her side plates will be remembered for her championship run. I doubt we'll see them on championship again anytime soon. However, they were on there, and when they were, they looked pretty damn good. Coming in at number two is the Becky Lynch side plates. Now, obviously, on TV as of right now, Becky is holding both the Raw Women's and SmackDown Women's Championships with these side plates on, and it looks great on both, if I'm honest with you. More so the Raw Women's title, but it does look actually okay on the SmackDown Women's. I think the amount of gold and black on there sort of takes away from the red, and it makes it less noticeable. However, I kind of wish that these were replaced with the man ones when, you know, she won the belts at Mania, but, you know, hey-ho. Once again, these are absolutely cluttered with detail they look great they represent her old gimmick so it's got all the gears and the cogs like you know designs on them the writing on the top and bottom looks great the emblem in the middle looks fantastic the little like bars with the three circles in look great and then the black outer circle looks fantastic as well these side plates are very very nice but they are not number one let's see what is Coming in at my number one are the Charlotte Flair side plates. These are absolutely fantastic for multiple reasons. My personal two is because they've done something that has not been done on any other side plate since. The first thing, they're, they're literally, they are all gold. There's no black as the background, there's no red as the background, it's gold. And it makes it look absolutely stunning when it's on the actual plate of the title. And two, they have used red gems on it. Not red paint to paint it in the little circles. They have used actual gems that they would use on the main championship. It's incredible. Charlotte is actually one of the lucky wrestlers that has two side plates. Not many do. And once again, I have said it before and I'll say it again. I'm not usually a fan of the side plates that aren't symmetrical. 
but these ones pull it off so effectively. They look fantastic on the Raw women's. They look fantastic on the SmackDown women's. I bet you they'd look fantastic on the UK women's. And it's just amazing. And no other side plate's done all gold. And it just fits Charlotte perfectly. And that's why I'm a big fan of it. And I keep saying and a lot. But it's, there's just so many reasons to like these side plates. They're so unique compared to the rest. And yeah, essentially that was my list. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you agree with me, tell me. If you don't agree with me, tell me. But I please be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.